Right, this is the Lenovo Mix 2 8 inch tablet and it suffers from a touch screen problem. The touch screen becomes unresponsive. Touch screen becomes unresponsive. As you can see here, it is totally unresponsive. So I'm going to demonstrate how to solve this problem by opening up this uh, Len Lenovo. Now I have another Lenovo, I've already opened one up and what you got to, in a nutshell, what you got to do is you've got to reseat this um, flex cable that would normally be here. So that's what this repair entails, reseating this cable. Because there's the touch screen and this is the motherboard. Alright, so I'll show you how to do it. The first thing you've got to do is you've got to open the unit. You can do it with your, with your hands, your fingernails if you, if you want. Um, make sure there are no cards in here, your data card or your SIM card if it's 3G enabled. So remove these cards which I've already done. Then what you want to do is from the top, put your nails in there and if you see it's already starting to open. I just wedge a little bit. Now you could use a guitar pick, a prying tool. So I have fairly uh, long nails at the moment. I actually need to cut them. So that's all I'm doing. I've just uh, just used my nails. Now when you come to this part over here, there's a little clip here. So that clip needs to actually be unhooked. So my advice is to just unhook it like that. Now the back unit is completely unhooked. However, it still does not want to come off. And the reason is that it's actually wedged at the bottom here. So what you've got to do is you've got to lift like that and now pull in this direction. So what you've got to do is you've got to say, pull it like that. Did you see what I did there? So it was, it was wedged in there and I pulled in this direction. Because if you look closely, you can see there are clips there which are seated, they're wedged inside there. Right, so now I've got the back cover off. Now you can see the flex cable sitting here and I have put these, uh, I think it did come with some of these pressure pads. And I have put extra for the reason that this the flex cable is a, is a troubling area. I think it's not making good contact and then the touch screen goes unresponsive. So what you want to do is now we can just reseat this flex cable or you can just put pressure on here. Another uh, way of doing it which I did was actually to use something called contact chemi. And you spray it on the contact. It actually helps uh, improve the contact between the pins. Okay, so what you've got to do is, uh, if you do want to reseat it, you've got to lift that black cover there. See, I've just lifted that. Now be very careful because this um, flex cable is extremely fragile. So what I want to do now is I want to gently pull out the the one from the uh, touch screen very gently there is a, a piece here which you can just grab and kind of pull it very gently okay that one is out and now I can just pull it out from the from that one because it's open here All right so that's what the flex cable looks like one in good order and here's one if you make a boo-boo if you look closely you can see the um, the little uh, wire or or aluminium tracks are destroyed here. So that's what happens if you don't do this um, in the right manner. So now to reseat it, you can. What I did is I just sprayed some contact chemi in there. Just a very little bit. That's the contact chemi. It's um, de uh, it uh, deoxidizes the contacts. And now I want to reseat this uh, this um, 
flex cable it actually says there touch and motherboard so this is the touch one so it must go in there and the motherboard one must go here and you've got to be very careful when you do this so you can use this little lip here and now I've got to put this in here and make sure it's lined up this is a absolutely terrible design and now this side must be seated in here There we go, make sure it goes all the way in. Now you can just close the lid. And that's it, so now I've reseated the, the touch screen. And I'm just gonna press a bit harder just to make sure it's fully in. It's now fully in. Now I'm gonna put this padding back in here. And this padding on there, whoops. And now I'm going to close the, the cover. Okay, working backwards now. We uh, first clip it. You, you wedge it in there. There it's wedged now. And now I just press. Make sure the volume button and the power button is, uh, is, is seated nicely. And now it's just time to press away. Make sure that one clips in. And that's it. It's all seated. Now let's switch it on and see. You see the touch? Perfect. There we go. And that's how you solve this problem. And thanks for watching.